It has come to light this week that George Osborne's austerity plan is based on an economics paper which itself entailed a statistical error. Whilst the economic theory behind this error has been put into full reverse, Mr Osborne continues his savage cuts regardless. This begs the question, does he genuinely know what the f*** he's doing? Mr Osborne was unable to join us here today, so instead, standing in for him, is this stray dog. So, Mr Osborne, do you have any defence in the fact that you've f***ed up royally? Refusing to answer, guilty as sin. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher was given a luxurious send-off last week, paraded through the streets of London as the former Prime Minister was laid to rest. Although there was considerable outrage at the fact that the taxpayers were footing the £10 million cost of the all-but state funeral. Isn't it ironic that the Tories are accusing a lot of people of being disrespectful towards her, whilst themselves not abiding to her final wishes of not having a state funeral? Justin Bieber has courted controversy this week by leaving a message in the Anne Frank Memorial guest book, commenting that he would have hoped she would have been a fan of his had she been alive today. Mr Bieber was not available for comment today, so filling in for him, this block of wood. Now, Mr Bieber, is it safe to say that you're turning into a right egotistical little shit as of late? No comment? Well, I guess his silence speaks louder than his artistic credit. Luis Suarez has hit the headlines for biting an opponent during Liverpool's 2-2 draw with Chelsea at the weekend. We spoke with the Liverpool manager, Brendan Rodgers, to get his thoughts on the incident. So you're a striker bit another player today. Have you ever seen anyone do that on the pitch before? I've never heard of that ever before. According to Suarez, he missed lunch today. All right, OK. Well, there we go. Got a lot of sunshine at the moment, but just to hedge our bets, I'm going to say rain too. Back to the story. And finally, we hope you had a great St George's Day and didn't get too pissed, unlike our resident stage manager.